In an effort to stop the violence in South Sudan, the option of sanctions is now on the table at the UN Security Council. UN Peacekeeping Chief Hervlet Su and the UN Assistant Secretary General for Human Rights Ivan Simonovic briefed the 15-member council on a recent escalation in attacks on civilians, including an ethnic massacre in the oil town of Benchu. Uh, most of us suggested uh, using the principle of deterrence to send a message unequivocally to the parties responsible for this impunity that it must not happen again. Letsu also said that the attack on the UN compound last Thursday and the killing of unarmed civilians in the compound denotes a serious escalation in the conflict and creates, quote, an extremely dangerous precedent. The D United Nations is doing everything it can to protect the civilians that are fleeing the violence, the war. But let us never forget that the primary responsibility for protect civilians is with the government. We are there to support, but it is the government of South Sudan to make it so that its citizens are not killed. The United States and the European Union have already threatened South Sudan with sanctions. President Barack Obama earlier this month authorized possible targeted sanctions against those committing human rights abuses in South Sudan or undermining democracy and obstructing the peace process. Maria Galang, CCTV.